Are you a multi-talented business owner looking to avoid common mistakes in your versatile ventures? If so, this video is just for you. Today we're embarking on a journey to discover the five crucial mistakes that can hinder your success. But don't worry, we're not just identifying these mistakes, we're going to equip you with the tools to avoid them and thrive in your focused business endeavors as your business advisor. Let's take a sneak peek at what's coming up. First, we're going to tackle the mistake of a lack of focus. Yes, you're multi-talented, and yes, you have a plethora of ideas, but spreading yourself too thin can lead to burnout and hinder success. So, we're going to discuss how to streamline your efforts and allocate your resources effectively. Next, we'll address the trap of trying to do it all alone. As the saying goes, no man is an island, and that holds true for multi-talented business owners. Building a reliable team or network can take you to greater heights than you could achieve alone. A business advisor helps you focus on work with your team. Then, we'll touch on the importance of self-care. It's easy to forget about taking care of yourself when you're caught up in the whirlwind of running a business. However, your physical and mental well-being are pivotal to your productivity and longevity in your business. Our fourth mistake is the failure to delegate. You can't do it all and trying to can hinder your growth. Learning to delegate tasks effectively can free up your time to focus on what truly matters in your business. And finally, we'll dive into the mistake of not embracing continuous learning. The business landscape is ever-evolving and standing still is not an option. We'll explore how to make ongoing education a priority and stay ahead of the curve. These are the five mistakes that we'll be unraveling today. Each one is important and avoiding them is key to your success as a multi-talented business owner. So buckle up as we delve into the first mistake that you must steer clear of. The first mistake to avoid is a lack of focus. We all know the thrill that comes with juggling multiple projects and ideas. It's like being a ringmaster in a circus, isn't it? You're in the center, spinning countless plates all at once. But here's the catch. When we spread ourselves too thin, our energy dissipates. Our focus, instead of being a laser beam, becomes a scattered light. Imagine you're a gardener with a handful of seeds. If you scatter them all over, you might end up with a few sprouts here and there. But if you plant them thoughtfully in fertile soil and water them regularly, you're more likely to see a bounty. The same principle applies to your ventures. Spreading yourself too thin can lead to burnout, dilute your efforts, and hinder your success. So what's the remedy? Streamlining. Think of it like this. You're at a buffet and you want to taste everything, but you only have one plate. You need to be selective, don't you? Similarly, in your business, you need to identify your top priorities. Ask yourself, what are the most important tasks that will drive my ventures forward? Once you've identified these, allocate your time and resources accordingly. It's not about doing everything, it's about doing the right things at the right time with the right amount of energy. This doesn't mean you have to put all your eggs in one basket, no, not at all. It's about understanding that not all eggs are created equal. Some are golden, some are silver, and others are just, well, eggs. Focus on the golden ones. In the end, remember this, focus is not about saying yes to everything. It's about saying no to the less important so that you can say yes to what truly matters. It's about making strategic choices. It's about understanding that you can't chase all the rabbits. If you do, you might end up catching none. Remember, in the pursuit of multiple ventures, never lose sight of your top priorities. Being multi-talented is a blessing, but without focus, it's like having a powerful engine without a steering wheel. So, steer your talents wisely and let them lead you to success. Next up is the trap of trying to do it all alone. It's tempting, isn't it? As a multi-talented business owner, you juggle a myriad of roles. But let's face it, even the most skilled juggler can drop a ball or two when there are too many in the air. That's where collaboration comes into play. It's about building a reliable team or network that complements your strengths and fills in the gaps. Think of it as a well-oiled machine. Each part has a specific role, working in harmony to achieve a common goal. You may be a jack of all trades, but remember, every jack needs his jills. Surround yourself with people who share your vision, who can bring fresh perspectives and innovative ideas to the table. Because at the end of the day, business isn't a solo act, it's a symphony. Together, you can achieve far greater heights than you ever could alone. Are you guilty of neglecting self-care? If so, it's time to change that. We spend so much time investing in our businesses that we often forget to invest in ourselves. But here's the thing. You are the driving force behind your venture. 
If you're not at your best, your business won't be either. It's essential to prioritize your physical and mental well-being. Think about it. When you're feeling run down or stressed, are you truly at your most productive? Probably not. You need to carve out time for relaxation, exercise, and hobbies that rejuvenate you. Whether it's a morning jog, an evening yoga session, or simply reading a book, find what works for you and stick to it. And don't forget about mental well-being. Mindfulness practices like meditation or journaling can help you stay grounded and focused amidst the whirlwind of entrepreneurship. Never forget, a healthy and balanced you leads to greater productivity and longevity in your business. Moving on, let's talk about the mistake of failing to delegate. Now, it's understandable. You're a multi-talented business owner, a jack of all trades, a whiz at what you do. But here's the thing, you can't and shouldn't do it all. Let's dive into why. Imagine juggling, you've got three balls in the air and you're doing a good job. But then someone tosses you a fourth, a fifth, a sixth. Suddenly you're not juggling anymore, you're scrambling to keep everything from crashing down. This, my friends, is what happens when you try to manage every single task in your business. It's not sustainable, it's not efficient, and it's not good for you or your business. So what's the solution? Delegate, that's right, hand off those tasks that don't line up with your core strengths or those that are consuming excessive amounts of your time. You might be thinking, but I can do it better. Maybe you can, but that's not the point. The point is to free up your time and mental energy to focus on the things that only you can do, the things that truly matter. Delegation also empowers your team. When you delegate, you're saying to your employees, I trust you, I believe in your abilities, and that's a powerful motivator. You're giving them the chance to grow, to take on new challenges, to prove themselves. And when they succeed, your business succeeds too. Remember, delegation isn't about relinquishing control, it's about making smart decisions to maximize productivity and growth. It's about recognizing that you're part of a team and that team is there to support you and your business. So learn to delegate and focus on what truly matters to grow your business. Because in the end, it's not about how many balls you can keep in the air. It's about knowing which balls to juggle and which ones to pass on. And finally, the last mistake to steer clear of is not embracing continuous learning. In the world we live in today, change is the only constant. Industries evolve, market trends shift, and new technologies emerge at an incredible pace. As multi-talented business owners, it's easy to fall into the trap of complacency, relying solely on your existing skills and knowledge. But let me tell you, staying stagnant in a rapidly evolving world can be detrimental to your business. So, how can you ensure you're always one step ahead? The answer lies in continuous learning. Make ongoing education a priority in your professional journey. No matter how many talents you possess or how successful your business is, there's always room for growth, always something new to learn. Consider attending workshops or seminars related to your industry. These platforms not only provide valuable insights, but also offer opportunities to network with like-minded individuals, exchange ideas, and stay updated on the latest trends. But the learning doesn't stop there. Reading industry publications is another great way to stay informed. Whether it's a blog post, a research paper, or a magazine article, these resources provide a wealth of knowledge at your fingertips. They keep you abreast of the latest developments, challenges, and innovations in your field. And let's not forget the power of mentorship. Connecting with mentors who have walked the path you're navigating can be immensely beneficial. They can offer guidance, share their experiences, and provide invaluable advice to help you navigate your business journey. In essence, continuous learning is not just about acquiring new skills or knowledge. It's about cultivating a mindset of curiosity, openness, and adaptability. It's about recognizing that the more you learn, the more you realize how much more there is to learn. So take the leap, embrace the unknown, challenge yourself to learn something new every day. Because at the end of the day, it's not just about being a business owner, it's about being a lifelong learner. By staying ahead of the curve, you'll ensure your long-term success. And that's a wrap on the five crucial mistakes to avoid as a multi-talented business owner. Let's quickly revisit what we've discussed. First, avoid the lure of juggling too many priorities. Keep your focus sharp and your efforts streamlined. Second, remember that you don't have to go it alone. Collaborate and build a network that complements your strengths. Thirdly, take care of yourself. Your physical and mental well-being are essential to your business's success. Fourth, learn to delegate. You can't do everything and it's okay to hand over tasks that don't align with your strengths. 
Lastly, embrace continuous learning. Stay ahead of the curve by making ongoing education a priority. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. And remember, focus, collaborate, prioritize self-care, delegate, and never stop learning. Here's to your success in your multifaceted journey as your business advisor.